I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. This week, we're going to ask the question, what if? And we're going to cover a discussion about if-then else statements and select case statements. And we're also going to talk about a nice little uh, uh, function called if that is very handy and useful for both expressions and VBA coding. So without further ado, let's get to our if statements. Okay, so we're going to get started here and uh, I'm using the same file that you've seen me use in the past few Microsoft Access videos. And we've got a visit table here that has some data in it that we used for another example and we'll use it for today. And our first example will be all about uh, whether somebody's angry or not. As you can see, each person has a different mood at a different time in that table. So what we're going to do is we'll uh, create a module for our first example. And we're going to create a function that has an if-then uh, else statement in it. And that's going to help us to determine whether uh, a person is angry in each row. And so <clears throat> I'll resize this here. And uh, so what we'll do is we're going to start off by um, we'll we'll create a function. So we'll we'll say function is angry, and then for that function we're going to pass in whatever mood they're feeling at at this moment. And so we'll I'll call it var mood because it's a variant. Just in case there's a null in there, um, that'll take care of it as well. And uh, uh, so. We'll comment it and say, you know, says whether he's angry or not. And then we'll use uh, if um, var mood uh, equals uh, angry. Then uh, we'll say is angry. Uh, we'll, we'll return like a sentence, I guess, saying uh, is angry equals uh, <clears throat> he's angry. And 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 then. I can't type today, and then uh, we'll say else uh, is angry equals uh, he's not angry. Just as an example, um, and that's a very simple way of using if then else, and uh, we'll end it off with an end if. And as you can see, that's our little function there. We've got our if um, then, uh, and then else if it's not the first case, and then. We have to put our end if on the end of it. And it's a very handy way of doing it. And we'll save our, our module. And then I'll minimize that. And we'll go ahead and make a query uh, on our visit table. So we'll create a query design. You can just close that little table, that little pop up there. And uh, just drag your table on. And uh, we'll select, uh, I, guess, um, I guess we'll just select everything. And uh, and then at the end of our last or at our last column, what we'll do is we'll we'll say the field called angry is equal to or is uh, is angry, and then we'll put in our mood field. So you got to use your square brackets for that, and then we'll save save that one as uh, I guess we'll call it uh, um, angry query, something like that. And we'll, after we've saved that one, we can go ahead and we'll double click to, to open it. I guess we'll close this out here. We could just do it straight from there, but we'll close the design and open the query just to demonstrate how that's done. And uh, now you can see we've got a last column on here that checks whether the mood is angry or not. Uh, it says angry. And uh, you can see we've got one that's that's angry, but everybody else is not angry, and that's probably a good thing. Um, so what we'll do is we'll close that and we'll save the the layout, and then um, and then we can go on to our next uh, our next example. So in this example, we'll open our design view, and uh, we're gonna use uh, we're going to do the same thing that we did using a procedure or a function uh, in VBA and instead we're going to use what's called an expression and we're going to we're going to type directly in here and we're going to use in our expression we're going to use if 
which is IIF, and uh, we'll say if the field mood in square brackets is angry, then we will uh, say he's angry. Uh, then I can't type here. We'll say he's angry, uh, and then use a comma to say for the alternate um, outcome, which is uh, not angry, and so we'll say he's not angry. So this is a handy way of doing a very simple if-then statement where it's just values that are being compared and, and simple uh, outcomes, a single simple outcome. You can do it this way using IIF. And so that's in an expression. We'll double-click to open that. And you can see we get the same outcome using IIF as we did in writing a procedure. However, as you use these more and more uh, you'll discover the difference between the two. IIF, uh, as we see here, is for very simple cases where it's a very simple um, comparison and then a simple outcome. Uh, and the function uh, allows you to do a lot more than the IIF statement. Um, so you could go ahead and do a whole bunch of actions um, on each case uh, where it says angry. Uh, you could update some records or you could you know, alert some users, uh, or you could do all kinds of things, and then you could do different actions if uh, the person was not angry. And you could have all kinds of things that happen um, when in each case. And so that's why the function uh, is a lot more versatile than using the IIF statement. So in our next example, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the select case statement which allows you to have a lot more uh, flexibility and outcomes uh, than using just if then else. Um, and so if you have a situation where there's many things to choose from and there's many outcomes for each, you know, for each uh, case, then, uh, then you can use select case. And so in this case, we could say if somebody's uh, good, if they're feeling positive, um, then that's uh, where we'll put them in if they're good then they'll put in the positive category if they're nervous we'll put them in the middle category and if they're angry we'll say that they're in the sort of uh, negative um, category and so we'll put depressed in the negative category and some other ones and so we'll go back to our module that we created and we'll create another function we'll call it positive uh, middle and negative um, it's a very long function name, but we'll, we'll call it positive, middle, negative. And then uh, uh, what this function is going to do is it's going to allow us to have several inputs uh, for each one. And we'll pass in the, the uh, mood variant um, just in the same way we did uh, for the isAngry function. And uh, a variant just means it could be anything, um, including a null value. So a string, if we put the, uh, the argument as a string, then, then it might have a null in the database field and that would cause an error. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll say select case var mood, and then we'll say case angry, and then sad, and um, I think we had something else on there, uh, uh, depressed, okay. So we'll say angry, sad, and depressed. Um, we'll say that that's a negative feeling. I'll, I can't type here. Uh, so an case angry, sad, and depressed, and then we'll say uh, our function, positive, middle, negative, is equal to uh, negative. And that'll pass back the, the word negative if, if the mood is one of those. And then we'll say if their case uh, nervous, I think nervous is the only one in the middle category. The other ones are all positive or negative. Um, so yeah, we'll just say uh, uh, case nervous. Oh. <clears throat> we'll say case nervous. Uh, and we'll say that is uh, middle. So we'll say positive middle negative is equal to middle. And uh, that will uh, allow for that case to be uh, to be passed and then we'll say case uh, uh, 
good and uh, happy. Oh, need a case uh, good and happy, and we'll say that those are positive. Uh, so we'll say positive middle negative is equal to uh, positive. And uh, one thing you, you want to do whenever you do a select case statement is you always want to add a case else um, just in case there's some other value and you want to handle um, something that isn't one of the, all the ones that you put above. And uh, so you always want to put a case else in there and uh, we'll say other if that happens. And then we can save that one just the same as we did the others. And then from there we'll go back to our uh, design view of our angry query and we'll just add in a new field and uh, in this field what we'll do is we'll we'll call this one positive the positive field and uh, and so we'll say positive and um, what we'll do is we'll add our uh, positive middle negative function and then we'll say bracket um, and we'll add our mood in score brackets that's the the value that's in the mood field then we'll put a, a closing bracket on there as well and uh, that's going to allow us to to see what happens there and so we'll close and run that one and then what you can see is now we also have another field called positive and it evaluates uh, based on our select case statement you know whether they're in a positive middle or negative kind of mood today and that's how you do if, then, else, and select case in Microsoft Access. I hope you enjoyed our discussion today about using if, then, else statements and select case and I, if, in different situations. And if you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, when you subscribe, make sure you click on the bell uh, so that you'll be notified of any new content that I put up on the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.